Très bien. A splendid rendition, girls. Now, to your lesson. May you have a maximally fruitful day on your journey to become miniature ladies par excellence. All together now. Merci, Monsieur Medaille. Merci, Monsieur Medaille. Merci, Mesdemoiselles. What have we here? It is not so often that we receive les visiteurs. It is a minimally common occurrence, in fact. <gasps> Incroyable! I do not believe it! Young man, it must have been fate that brought you here! Destiny! La Providence! I sense a great power within you! A power of maximal significance! There is much to discuss, but not out here, eh? Come to my office! And I will reveal all you need to know. It is nearby, a minimal distance. You will see! <laughs> ah, there you are. Now, uh, you must allow me to introduce myself properly. I am Maxime Medaille. And this is my humble establishment, l'Académie de Notre Maître des Médailles, a school in which miniature ladies bloom into beautiful, full-grown flowers. As part of the education, we encourage our pupils to journey through all the lands of Edrea and to gather the maximum number of mini medals they can find. As they hunt for medals, they immerse themselves in the cultures of the world and acquire at least a minimum of, uh, how you say, savoir-faire. But every so often, a born medal hunter comes along. I sense this in you. I see the most maximally adroit medal detector of my career before me. However, there is one miniature problem. The academy is for young girls and young girls alone. Sadly, I cannot offer you a place here. But does this mean I will allow such potential maximal to remain untapped? No! By the power vested in me, I hereby enroll you as an honorary member of l'Académie de Notre Maître de Médaille. A place like this would be hidden away at the top of that mountain trail. It's... breathtaking. Oh, stop it, you. You're making me blush. Although, I suppose the old hometown is pretty amazing. Wait, you mean this is... It is indeed. Welcome to Arborea, home of the Keepers. The ones who watch over the world from beneath Yggdrasil's branches. And of Veronica and I. Mm -hmm. I always thought it was a little bit, well, dull. But it's good to be back. The old 
Doctor and the vision we saw appeared to be in the highest part of the first forest, which lies just beyond the village. But we should stop off in Arborea before we head up there. Everyone will be ever so pleased when they find out the Luminary has come to visit. O oh, great and glorious Idrisil, whose holy heart is the source of all life, and to whom all life returns, we thank you for this gift. The withered leaves fall from your branches, and fresh buds spring forth in their place. One life ends, and another begins. O oh, mighty Mother Idrisil, we pray that you will bless this new bud, this child of Arborea. May he grow into a leaf worthy of your benevolent boughs. Ah! Well, well, our beloved twins return. And how long have you two been loitering there, pray? Good day, Holy Father. It's ever so nice to see you again. And everybody else, of course. Everyone seems well. Uh -huh. As do you, my dear. But, Veronica, were you not taller when last we met? It's a long story. Anyway, that's not important right now. What is important is that we did what you told us to. We found the luminary. The luminary. Can it really be? Oh, what a blessed day this is. Not only do we welcome a new life into the village, but the luminary also. I am Benedictus, High Priest of Arborea, and I have waited my whole life for this moment. Holy Father, on our travels we learned of a grave threat to this world. A being of pure evil who plots to throw all Erdria into turmoil. I see. So this Mordigan has corrupted the minds of Heliodor's best and boldest, and is using his evil influence to turn the world against our friend here. Yes, but we think we may know how to defeat him. We have to go to the World Tree. A great power awaits us there. There's an altar somewhere in the first forest. We think we can use the orbs to get up to Yggdrasil. Ah, it is just as I dreamed it all those months ago. I saw you, my dears. You were climbing toward the Tree of Life, the luminary beside you. It was this vision that caused me to send you on your quest to seek him out. A vision surely granted unto me by mighty Yggdrasil herself. All is now clear. You were climbing toward the great altar of the first forest. And indeed, this is where you must go. The path to the forest lies beyond the cathedral, as of course you know. I will await you there. When you have all six sacred orbs in your possession, come to me and I will show you the way. Well, honored luminary, shall we proceed? These pictures, they're incredible. 
They tell a tale as old as Arborea itself. The tale of the Luminary, a child chosen by mighty Yggdrasil, one sent to save us from disaster. Our friend here is not the first to be known by that name. No, the first was born long, long ago in the Age of Heroes. At that time, the world of Edria was beset by a being of purest darkness. A being who sought to steal the very source of life itself, the heart of Yggdrasil. And so, the World Tree marked out one among her children for greatness. Erdwin, the luminary of legend. He went forth to do battle with the Dark One. But he did not go alone. A band of heroes accompanied him. Among them, a mighty sage named Serenica. Veronica, Serena, your friend here is the Luminary Reborn. And together, you are the reincarnation of his companion. As for Mordekin, I suspect that it is his darkness that your friend, the latest in the line of luminaries, was born to banish. You must defeat him. The fate of our world depends upon it. Good luck. Mm -hmm.